Welcome everyone to another Streamlabs desktop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a scene in two different ways. So what you're going to want to do is go up here to the themes inside of Streamlabs and we're going to want to go and type in free in the search. I've already done this so a lot of this stuff's already been populated for free and basically there's like 18 pages that you can go through. So just find one that you like. I'm just going to go with override and you're going to click install theme. It's going to do the little circle thing until it fully installs it and then we can go ahead and start messing with stuff in the scene this is the quickest and easiest way of doing it versus you know manually making the overlay and then bringing it in that is the way i do it i never use any of the pre-made stuff because i've created all my stuff in uh, photoshop but you can also create overlays and stuff like Canva, which is free. And there's other software out there that are similar to Photoshop that are also free or extremely affordable. So that way you have like your, your own creative spin on it. But right off the bat, you have your live scene starting soon, collab scene, if you're using the collab cam, and then you also have your socials, which if you expand the folder, you'll be able to go in here and just kind of change the name for your socials. And if you have certain icons, you can also change the icons as well. So back to the live scene, you'll have your alert box. So if you already have an alert box set up, you could just test it and it will be what you've already had set up. For the overlay of the webcam, that's going to be the border. The webcam itself is going to be the, uh, this right here. So your video capture device, and then you have your stream labels the box that the labels sit in, and then your game capture. Now game capture, unfortunately, is gonna have this nasty watermark there because it is free, but the easy way to deal with that is to just delete it and we can always add it back. So if you wanna add that back, just go to sources, game capture, and you'd be good to go. But I'm gonna be adding a video capture device. So we're gonna add in a new one, and we're just gonna leave all the settings the way they are and hit close. So now we're going to left click, drag it all the way down to the bottom. So that way everything sits on top. And then for the stream labels, if you want to keep everything and just kind of move everything together, highlight one of these, hold shift, and then select the last one in the group. And now we can drag it all and we can also resize everything too. So that way everything is right there and you're good to go. That is the simplest and easiest way to set all that stuff up. The only downside to having the pre-built ones is you only get like two or three scenes, depending on the one you use. And you don't have like just a blank slate option. Like you're starting soon. That starting soon is literally this right here. So it's gone. There's nothing else. Like you don't have just the background. So you will only be really stuck with whatever they give you. Now, if you're wanting to create your own, you can go and use like Canva and Photoshop or Affinity. There's a bunch of different ones out there that you can go and use, or you can have someone um, build you one, or you can go and get 100% free packages on different sites. Um, another one I'll, like i'll link a bunch of them that you can use but like there's there's owned that has a bunch of them there's nerd or die there's uh i think visual impact is another one so there's there's other ones out there that have full free packages and you can just bring them in very easily so if you were to do it manually just hit the plus um for a new scene and it's going to be right down here so what we're going to want to do Let's go to sources and we can go to image and then you can see you can still use the ones that were here but we're going to do add a new source instead you can give it a name if you want to and you're going to search for it so these are the ones that i've made in photoshop so we're going to do just a starting soon and then we're going to lock that so that way it doesn't get moved and then if I wanted to bring in the game, then I'll do video capture device. And since we already have it, we can add the source again. We'll bring it underneath, grab the little square to resize it. 
and then we'll make sure it fits and that is one scene done and done you can add alerts to the scene if you want to but let's say we want to add in another scene so now what we're going to do is add image again we're going to do add new image add source browse and then we're going to do like just chatting if we wanted to so this is would be like where i would be here and then the chat would be here so then we would add in another video capture device and then that would be the webcam that we'd bring in i'm not going to bring the webcam in because the room is completely dark you're not going to see anything um but that is essentially how you would set that one up but yeah then you can also add some other stuff too so if you wanted to add in like the alert box we can do add source we can open it up and we can kind of take a look and see like what we want to adjust on here so if like donations and stuff like that so if we open this up you know we got this here and we can mess with all the stuff in here that we want to set up and then once it's set up you just put it somewhere on the screen you can resize it and then once you're done you're good to go uh, i mean it's it's essentially just grabbing what you want on here and finding a spot that it makes sense to go to but the main thing is getting some type of background for it to sit on so if i was to if i was to do the main then i would go back here video capture device and then this time it would be this whole thing here we'll lock into place and then I would add something like another image and we'll add a new image add source and then if i wanted to add in my own type of webcam box i could do that and just plop it right over here and you know resize it and and everything like that so like these are uh you know if you spend the time to go and make it or if you go and buy stream packages and stuff like that you know you can just manually bring that stuff in so two different ways manually bring it in or use one of the pre-made ones like this either one works it just matters up to you but if you found this video helpful or if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below but if you like stuff like this definitely take a look at the channel itself there's a lot of tutorials a lot of playlists Basically, I try to share any type of information that I have to make your streaming journey a lot easier. But thank you so much for watching and be sure to take a look at this video here and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.